which we will discuss today about Laplace correction, the Laplace correction to the errors caused by Newton's idea of uh, assuming that the sound wave uh, travels in the medium in the form of uh, isothermal under isothermal conditions. So that creates a error of around 16 percent. The experimental results say it's around uh, 330 and the uh, Newton got 280. So there is a lot of error. Now Laplace modified it and the made little changes that is we call it as, uh, as uh, correction, so Laplace correction. Laplace correction. There is one fault line that was uh, the assumptions of uh, isothermal process by Newton. Laplace said it is not isothermal process, it is adiabatic process. So according to Laplace, the process that is taking place when uh, sound wave propagates in air is uh, adiabatic process, not uh, isothermal process. So adiabatic process. So this is the process that is uh, under this condition the sound travels. Now when you talk about the adiabatic process, so you must know for adiabatic process Q is constant. What is Q? Q is the heat. So instead of temperature remaining constant during compression and refraction, Laplace said the heat will remain same during compression and refraction. So when compression or refraction is formed, the heat is generated, but then uh, the heat will remain same as before. So then uh, where uh, the heat uh, will remain constant, if it is a uh, adiabatic process, then uh, you have to find a bulk modulus for uh, adiabatic process. Because bulk modulus for the isothermal process is the pressure of the medium, but as far as the adiabatic process is concerned, it will be something else. So that we have to find that uh, how to get the value of bulk modulus using uh, adiabatic process. The adiabatic uh, process is used, or the equation for adiabatic process that is uh, in uh, this PV, there's two gamma is constant. PV raised to gamma is constant. Here, uh, gamma is a uh, ratio of uh, specific heats of uh, this is called adiabatic constant basically. Okay, this is adiabatic constant. This is the ratio of two specific heats, Cp and Cv. Cp is the specific heat of a gas at a uh, gas at constant pressure, and the Cv is the specific heat of a gas at constant volume. So this gamma is basically Cp over Cv. So it is uh, a number unitless for uh, this gamma for air is is a uh, 1.41. This is air is diatomic, and uh, for diatomic gas, uh, generally air is uh, considered to be mostly diatomic, so it is 1.41. Okay, this equation has to be used. This equation has to be used. In case of uh, Newton, he thought P equals to constant, PV equals to constant, and he used the equation. So this is just the modification that uh, the process is not uh, isothermal; it is uh, an adiabatic process, and the equation that you have to use for uh, adiabatic process is PV raised to gamma is some constant. Then uh, during uh, compression or uh, refraction then compression compression refraction compression if uh, i use the equation like pv raised to gamma is constant and find the expression for uh, e so that means first uh, find the a from this equation 
3 raised to gamma is constant. We know that uh, our aim is to find the speed of sound uh, that is uh, E divided by under root density of the medium that is air that I have taken. This I have to find. How to find this? The if I take the equation PV raised to gamma, see how what I'll get. Now to find E for uh, isothermal process. So for isothermal process, uh, adiabatic process, PV raised to gamma is constant. If you differentiate this, then uh, P uh, dV of this is a uh, gamma V raised to gamma minus 1, okay, plus V uh, raised to gamma and uh, dPy dV, okay, this constant derivative of this with respect to V and uh, this constant and derivative of that with respect to V equals to 0. This is multiplied here and it is 0. So P, so I will uh, have to find the, uh, have to find the uh, bulk modulus which you know I have to find what this bulk modulus is uh, minus of uh, delta P into E divided by delta V or you can I say minus V dB by 3V. This uh, factor I get to the other side, this, this is taken to the other side of the equation, this will become uh, gamma P V raised to gamma minus 1, this one is uh, minus V raised to gamma D P over D V. This D P over D V is a V, this whole thing is there. But then here there is a gamma over here that we have to solve, we only want V here, not gamma raised to V. So for that uh, I will uh, divide this uh, factor over here and what I will get gamma into P I will keep uh, this to here and take this to the other side then I will get uh, minus V raised to gamma divided by V raised to gamma minus 1 dP over dV okay after that what we will get now you can see here this goes up this is minus this becomes plus so it is left with minus V dP over TV. So this is gamma P and this is nothing but E or K. So then this is what you have to substitute. Uh, you have to substitute uh, gamma P as the value for uh, bulk modulus or elastic constants in case of uh, the sound travels in air. So substituting this value in the equation velocity as uh, this by this. I substitute in this equation uh, the value of E as uh, gamma P and what you will get. Let us see. The This expression is basically similar to the expression that uh, Newton got. Only difference is the introduction of gamma inside the square root. So we will put the value of uh, E here. V equals to E divided by rho and E comes out to be in gamma P divided by rho. So P is a air pressure, air pressure and uh, rho is the density, air density. Okay. And gamma for air that we have discussed or written there, gamma for air, all for air we are writing it is 1.41. It is a constant known as the adiabatic constant. Now putting these values we will get uh, 1.41 into P as usual uh, pressure is rho gh and everything else. This P is equal to rho of mercury g and height as usual the previous data. Substitute this only the difference is this. So this into 13600, 9.8 and 0 
divided by 1.293 under root of this. Already we calculated this as uh, 280. So one point I will write this as under root of this into one eight sorry two eight zero meter per second. So if I um, multiply this to take these values and multiply to two eighty, I will get a number something like three three two point five something like that in meter per second. This uh, result is uh, in uh, very close agreement with the value that we obtain in uh, experiment that is experimental value of the speed of sound in air which uh, is found to be around 330 meter per second this is an agreement so therefore this is accepted the idea because the idea gave the uh, value of the speed more closer to the experimental result then the idea given by Newton which was uh, erroneous and uh, attaining more than around 20% 15 to 20 percent error. So therefore, and uh, we can also discuss here one important thing that uh, I will that uh, explain that in uh, in this part of the uh, say that uh, during uh, compression or uh, rarefaction then compression, then refraction. This is compression. This is how the sound moves towards right for alternate production of uh, compression and refractions. Now, before the, the sound wave travels, the medium is uh, well separated and uh, there is no compression refraction. The distance between layers are equidistant. So earlier it will be something like this then, equal distance. Now, if I apply pressure, if initially pressure is P and uh, volume is V in a given region, and uh, because of uh, the extra pressure that I apply, okay, so in case of a compression, the extra press pressure is created. Suppose the, here the pressure that is created is P plus uh, delta V or dV. And uh, because of that, uh, sorry, delta P, P plus delta P, and uh, the volume is, is they going to decrease. Initially, the volume was V, now the volume is decreasing. It is uh, say V minus delta V. Because increase in pressure is uh, followed by decrease in volume. This is Boyle's law. So, this uh, increase in pressure will uh, decrease the volume. This is the incremental value of pressure delta P, and this is the incremental uh, uh, decremental uh, decrease in the volume of the uh, decrease in volume of the region. But uh, what uh, uh, Newton observed is that the pressure into volume is uh, constant because this is all happening under isothermal conditions. So he said that the pressure and volume initially in this case before the sound will travel is PV. So after the travel is also this will be PV. So in case of a compression region if you think of then P plus delta P into V minus delta V that is that must be equal to PV. This is the initial situation and this is the final situation. He says that that must be same. If uh, we calculate it, it is found that if you expand this, this becomes uh, PV minus P delta V. Here it is uh, delta P into V minus delta P delta V. This uh, factor is small factors. Delta V is a very small factor. Delta P is also very small factor. So this will uh, cancel out because the small number, small number multiplication will uh, uh, approach more towards zero. So we will uh, neglect this. Uh, then we are left with uh, this is uh, PV. Okay, this is how Newton uh, thought the changes the pressure into volume will keep constant. That uh, this is the case. Now you can see that uh, these two will also cancel pressure and volume, and uh, I'll bring uh, this to the other side of the equation. This this will become P delta V, and this becomes a delta P into V. From here, I write P equals to 
V delta P divided by delta V and this is uh, this uh, quantity at the right side of this equation is uh, this is uh, nothing but your E that you consider in the formula E equals to V equals to E by density. So in this the E that you consider here the E that you consider here the elastic constant of medium that is uh, known as the bulk modulus in case of uh, um, the, in case we consider in air. So that E is uh, found to be P. So therefore we replaced E by P and proceeded to get uh, some uh, the result which is uh, containing some error because of the idea that uh, pressure to volume is constant. Uh, what um, Laplace did was to change the idea of isothermal process to adiabatic process and then some constant is introduced. You can derive that also with the help of these type of equations. Here it is V raised to gamma, here is a, something will be to, to the power gamma and if you solve this then also you will derive the, you will end up getting that the E value is found to be gamma into P. Okay, thank you.